what is up you guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day so today on a hot day here in houston i want to make a video concerning what's the best exhaust for your vq engine that's if you have a g37 g35 370z 350z crew sedan whatever with the vq35 the ehr or the uh, vhr from the 370z 3.7 blah 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 you know what i mean but bam um let's get straight to it hope you guys enjoy. smash that like button and please subscribe i really appreciate it hope you guys enjoy this let's get it all right so we're gonna go straight into it i'm gonna go header down and from the combo i'll just do whatever all right straight from the header we're gonna go long tube headers first uh fair price if you're looking for a budget isr long tube headers that i'll work on all platforms 370z's 350z ISR headers will do their job. Now, for if you don't, if you don't have a budget, uh, PPE headers down. Not, nothing, nothing beat, nothing beats it. PPE headers, long tube headers. That is. PPE, PPE and long tube headers is the best one. Then they have Motordyne, but that's really only for the 370Z. So Motordyne came with their long tube headers that come. They can put Helm Homes uh, resonators on, which is pretty nice. Short tube headers, shorties. Um, would be for fair use for fair fair price. This is only for like the non HR or non VHR engines. HR out the line, nothing else. eBay ones don't even you're wasting time. HR headers will just be save you some money. They they flow real good and they flow right. Now if you don't have a budget, shorties I'll say Z1 Z1 headers are pretty nice. I heard Tome is actually better than Z1. The Tome headers, so I say. Tommy over Z1 or Nismo. If you find a good price on some Nismo headers, get them. That goes for the Z's and G's, all platforms. Now, test pipes. Uh, fair, if you're looking at your budget wise, ISR uh, test pipes or fast intention, uh, resonated, non resonated, doesn't matter, uh, test pipes. Now, if you don't have the budget, our pipes are the way to go. I would recommend for test pipes, if you're going the uh, test pipe route, to get actually uh, R pipes. Just just save that extra hundred dollars and get R pipes. They do the work. Um, you get ten horsepower over regular test pipes, and they sound so good. They they R pipes make any exhaust sound way better than it should over regular test pipes. So I really would recommend R pipes. Okay, for white pipes. Budget-wise, ISR white pipes. ISR white pipes have shown to be actually really, really good. Uh, one of my favorite tuners, Admin Tuning, he showed how great they are. Um, they're really good. They're really good. That's for all three, 350Z, 370Z, G35, G37. Honestly speaking, I wouldn't. Okay, I never seen no one do this, but. Um, the 370Z uh, ISR white pipe is different from the 350Z. It's a little bit more bigger. Honestly, I've never seen them do this, but I would recommend that you guys get the 370Z white pipe and put it on the 350Z or G35 over the original one. I, I think that would be a better flow. Um, Hall's built. Hall's built is pretty, I would say, in between high and low, so I just put that with the budget. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, if you guys don't know about Hall Built Performance, they're up and coming. They're really nice. Um, now, if you don't have no budget, uh, Motodyne XYZ is pretty much the go-to for a lot of people because uh, after the white pipe, there's a, a part where you can just go straight pipe from there or put a resonator or a high wheel cap, depending on the state you are, or if you want to keep your car quiet or it's, a lot of people like to get them because, um, with the resonator because they reduce the rasp from some rasp exhaust, which is really good. Um, another another one would be 5 titanium uh, DR, which is the dual resonator white pipes, and it's titanium. It's really good. It's probably like four something. It's, it costs less than the XYZ, so it's in between. That's in between budget or no budget. Um, that group from there. Now we're going wide back. Single exit, budget, if you have a budget, ISR, that goes for 370Z, G35, G37, 350, ISR makes them good. They sound really good for the, the 
3.7 liter engines, they sound really good. Um, but as for um, the 3.5, they're more and more quiet. So, and a lot of people try to remove the resonator and it just goes real bad. But ISR is a good budget exhaust. Hall, uh, Hall built, which is uh, HBP, um, they make great single exits for the 3.7 liters. For the 370Z, G37, they make good. Um, they call them the super single exhaust. It's really nice. You guys should look it up. Um, they're making some for the 350Zs, but I don't know when they, they'll probably come out three months from now, two to three months from now. Um, if you don't have a budget, I will say Tome Dog or ISR Titanium. Um, everybody knows the Tome Dog. Um, come on, dog. It's a Tome Dog, man. Yeah. But um, ISR came out with these Series 2 Titanium exhausts. And the first person I've seen to use it was uh, Adam Z. You guys follow Adam Z. If you guys know who he is, he was the first to get the prototype. And he said it was deeper than the Tome. You can actually hear it. It sounds deeper than the Tome. There's some people right now who got that exhaust, and it sounds deeper than the Tome. I think that exhaust right now is the only exhaust if you want to get the sound like a shot, a motor exhaust, that's the only single exhaust with the right combos. You can get the sound like that. I'll probably give info on that later on. Um, but that ISR Titanium, they cost the same, that and Tome. If you don't like how the Tome sounds, I think you guys will love the ISR Titanium. So it's the ISR Series 2. Um, but everybody likes how, almost everyone likes how Tome sounds. But um, yeah, that's it. Dual, dual exhaust, um, budget-wise, Z1, I'm not 100% sure if Z1 does have a dual exhaust for the 370Zs. If it does, you guys let me know in the comment section below. But Z1 for dual, this is a budget or top speed. Um, top speed makes good rep exhaust and they sound really good. Um, the only problem they have is like drone. Guys don't care about the drone, top speed is the way to go. Um, also, maybe like axle backs or something like that, you know, stuff like that. Um, if you no know budget at all, you really want to save the Motodyne Shockwave TDX2 best, one of the best, if not number one, uh, for that. You know, it's it's debatable, it's like arguable, number one, the best. It sounds the closest to a GTR exhaust, like. You wouldn't like if you didn't if you would have heard that car passing by you and without looking you think it's a GTO. Um, that goes for G35 is like eighteen hundred and for three seventies the G37 I think is the same price and three seventies and three fifties is like sixteen I believe. Um, the next one would be a Meistercraft. This one is probably half half of double the price. I don't know if that makes sense, but. It costs more than the shockwave, just plain and simple. It's almost like almost 3000 for just the exhaust. And it sounds unbelievably good. I heard it in person. It sounds way different from the uh, shockwave, but it sounds like a hyper supercar. It sounds really, really good. Like coming from a BQ engine, that sounds so, so good. That's it for the duel. Now we get to the combos. All right, I hope you guys can see that. Um, best combo, um, this is probably for the VQDEs, the DE engine. HR headers out of the box, they sound really good. Art pipes, a XYZ maybe with resonator to calm down the Tome Dog. Just, uh, the Tome Dog does have like a dry rasp. A lot of people, uh, of course you'll notice it when those Tome drivers, you guys know that a dry rasp. The XYZ, XYZ with reson resonator will take that out and it'll make it sound too perfect, like you'll never want to go back. It, it still will be loud, but controllably loud, but not as controllable as the, the TDX, the shockwave, but still it is perfect. Next combo would be long tube headers, I don't know if it's PPE, ISR, uh, SGM, which are rare. Um, I, like, I like how the um, I don't like how the trumpety sound, but at higher PMs, I do like how it screams. 
it sounds really good when it like screams. Um, but I really want that deep sound, so um, that's why you know a resonator wire pipe would just do it. Um, our pipes help too. All right, last one for the best combos would be a Tome or Z1 short tube headers. Our pipes and a shockwave exhaust. Uh, that's what almost everybody does when they get the R pipes and the, the R pipes and the shockwave exhaust to, together are the best combos for a dual exhaust. Um, like I did say, R pipes make every and any exhaust sound too perfect. It, perf it perfects the exhaust. Um, some, yes, yeah, some, this almost everyone do that. Z1 headers, R pipes, and TDX, or the Tome. I heard the Tome is better. Like I said, I heard the Tome is better than Z1. And Tomei is a more better sounding shorty header. So Tomei with R pipes and a shockwave will sound good. Um, before I go to underrated exhaust, I just want to say, if you do go with a full company exhaust, for example, like ISR headers, ISR wide pipe, uh, ISR exhaust, it flows and the power is way more than using different type of companies um, that's, that goes for the, the G, the, the, v, the DEs, because I know they don't make that much power unless you go cams or something like that. But um, using uh, the, the whole full company exhaust makes the car more, they flow the best. They flow the best. Um, with that being said, the, number, the most underrated uh, exhausts right now today are, like the one I was telling you, the ISR Series 2 Titanium Exhaust. It weighs less than the Tomei. I think the Tomei is like 12, 13 pounds, whereas this is 8 pounds. It's light, it's thicker, like it's like the, the material, the, the titanium is way more stronger than the Tomei. Um, some of you guys might not like to hear that, but honestly, I think it's better than the Tomei. 100% sounds deeper, um, stronger, um, the thicker material. Um, yeah, sounds really good. And this one doesn't come with a resonator either, and it sounds really good. It sounds deep, everything. So, uh, that's one. And then the next one is a Hall Built Super Single. Super Single Hall Built. I think his name is Sean. Uh, he creates the best exhaust for, this, uh, uh, for those cars. Like, it sounds so good. It's not titanium. It's titanium. It's stainless steel. Um, but it sounds so good. He, uh, his exhaust comes with white pipes, or you can get the one without the white pipes. Um, just email him. I'll probably try to put his Facebook and everything down below. Um, he does like res he, anything you request from him, he does. I think like $50 extra. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But uh, he can do resonator white pipes for the white pipes he sell here. Um, also, can put a uh, Helm Holmes resonator on the single exhaust. Normally, you will see that on the Motorline Shockwave, shockwave exhaust, but he can put that on the uh, super single and it sounds really nice but his new super single uh without no resonators has no rasp which is crazy and it sounds really really good it sounds fresh and it not tame but refined really really good it's like perfect so those are the two underrated um i think maybe um if you want to stay away from the tome cloud train you know because everybody wants to get tome i don't blame them it sounds good but if you want to stay away from those, ISR Titanium Exhaust is the one that competes right with them. Um, Hall Build for stainless steel, this this one's cheaper than the Tomei. This one's probably like six, seven hundred dollars. So that would be a good one. Uh, so that's uh, for that's for the Hall Build that is. So it's cheaper than the Tomei and the ISR. Um, another thing soon coming out. I know that Tomei is coming out with a dual exhaust. I really want to see that. It's not true dual, but it's similar to the Z1 dual exhaust, but it's in titanium. Um, and, they're and I think they're coming out with a dual, a dual resonated, no, a resonated type, uh, a resonated Tomei white pipe made of titanium. So that's going to be good as well. They said it was going to come out months ago, but they said that at the beginning of this year. So, I mean, I, I have patience on when that comes out, but I might not go for that exhaust anyway. Um, yeah, you know, that's that. Um, but you guys, this now, this exhaust right here is for those guys who don't care about performance. You just really care about looks. You don't want to spend that much money on the exhaust. 
And that's for you straight, you straight pipe of guys. Muffler delete and a resonator delete. That that's an okay exhaust. I won't prefer, but um, that's for you guys that don't have, you know, has a strict budget. Just go muffler delete, resonate delete. If anything, the best exhaust, even if you have a budget, I would recommend this. If you really don't care about performance, just the the looks. Go muffler delete and then get art pipes. Art pipes with a muffler delete on any pl VQ platform sound so good. Um, it sounds really good. Um, I had before my single exhaust. I had um, straight pipe, and it was it sounded cool. But like hearing from the outside, I was like, oh wow, it's like a trumpet. I got a uh, resonated test pipe, circuit works. I still have, I have circuit work resonated test pipes and it just made it sound awful. So I put a OEM charger uh, resonator on the car and it sounded way much better. It sounded really good, honestly, like really good. Um, but now I'm single exit saying it sounds really good. Um, yeah, that's really much it. Um, but if you guys have any questions or different thoughts other than what I've had, different exhausts that you think are way better than all these shit bags, let me know. But I really think this is the best for power. Alright guys, so I hope you guys did enjoy that. You guys let me know in the comment section below what you think. Um, whatever your opinions are, let me know. I mean, I, don't, I mean I'm mean, i all open ears. I like to hear what other people have to say. Um, this is just all from my research of what I think are the best exhausts, the sound, performance, the whole overall thing. So, you guys, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more content. Whatever videos you guys would like to see, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Um, stay tuned for more videos. See you guys in the next video. Peace.